Hi, uh, my name is Phil Hassard. I'm a professor here at Robert Gordon University and I'm responsible for all the uh, simulator activities for the students and external clients. And um, what other benefits are there to simulators? Well, I mean, the big benefits that we see um, is one, obviously, the learning and the development of, um, of the, the, the people that use them. But for external clients, we've seen a big uh, a change in their um, usage of these facilities. Um, for example, um, we've had a number of oil companies access the facilities here. Obviously, we have the, the conventional simulator behind us, and we also have the 6000 cyber system. Both have been used uh, for oil companies here. And um, drilling campaigns, they've actually programmed in live well data. They've ran through the well data. They've actually changed a number of procedures, uh, contingency plans, and purely just based on the simulator, there's millions of dollars uh, being saved for these companies actually accessing the facilities here locally. So there is a massive benefit in, in the companies using the facilities. And from your experience, from what you've seen from other drilling contractors that you've spoken to, what benefits are they getting in return? Um, well, the drilling contractors, it's a fantastic tool for uh, the drilling contractors to use for uh, like competence assessment. Um, we've seen a big upturn in, in the North Sea for uh, now the activities start to pick up is uh, new hires, uh, promotions, and uh, a number of the drilling contractors have actually been using the facilities to run through competence a, a assessment a, on their uh, personnel or new hire or being promoted within a position. And the value they see is uh, they can't get that anywhere else. So by having the facilities, it's a safe environment. We can go through all the checks and they can uh, then have a, a tool then to they know exactly the, the status of that individual being assessed. Drilling contractors are using the simulators for competency assessments. What sort of exercises would you expect them to go through? Well, the assessments are built to company-specific uh, assessments, and um, some go into a lot more detail than others. But basically, we're actually putting the individual through exactly what they would do on the rig under a stressful situation. So it could be a well control incident. It could be normal just picking up drilling trends. Uh, tripping exercises, hole cleaning, stuck pipe, exactly everything that they should know uh, in the real world, we actually go through and put them through an assessment. Now we are primed to try and put them under pressure, um, which actually, you know, is great for them because uh, they are put in a position that they would be offshore or onshore and uh, see how they perform under that conditions. And obviously it is a controlled environment so we can raise the stress level or bring the stress level down and obviously pause if we need to pause and uh, get them back on the, the, the straight and narrow again but yeah they, they definitely see the big benefits of that and they all want to put them under stressful conditions because that's the environment they're actually working in.